This movie is a fictionalized chronicle of the inner life of Marilyn Monroe. It's based on a novel of the same name. The movie is 2 hours and 46 minutes long, but it's quite distant from a comprehensive biography. The plot here completely skips over large chunks of her story. It represents a very loose and very brief history lesson about her, even if, as in the source material, names and places are rarely specified. It does nothing to help reclaim its subject's power. The movie is full of trauma, abuse and depression, and it's all laid out on the screen. On top of that, the majority of these things are myths about her life. The movie is basically an unsubtle and myth-reinforcing reimagining of the icon's life. The movie is using endless visual trickery, which begins to wear thin sooner than later. Anna de Armas embodies Monroe's sexiness and vulnerability, but is given frustratingly little chance to express her wit and intelligence. It's hard to sense much feminist power in a story so reluctant to give the character the slightest agency. For most of the film's final hour, Anna de Armas has little to do but scream and cry as the movie frames Monroe as a hysterical woman. The despair is palpable, unfortunately, the dramatic purpose is not. The movie ends up doubling down on the idea that she was impossible to work with, dependent on drugs, and increasingly dislodged from reality. It hardly presents a revisionist view of the myths that have come to surround her. As a character, she's just floating through the movie and never grounded. She's often in a drug-induced haze, but it seems more a device than a position on who she was. It keeps the story moving at a pace and really refuses to stop and add any depth to the conversation. As a result, what should be tearful too often seems trite or silly. Some interesting topics are touched upon but discarded abruptly as the movie is interested only in cementing the notion that her life was a perpetual hell and not in presenting the whole story or even minimal resolutions. The movie's insistence on reiterating themes and repeating imagery only work to diminish their impact. For every thought-provoking observation, there's always something else that suffocates the effectiveness. The switch between black and white and color doesn't seem to have any real purpose either. The movie inserts Anna de Armas into some of Monroe's best-known scenes, which feels rather unconvincing. Even intimate scenes feel as if they were shot remotely and spliced later. In the end, this movie is simply an overlong, unsatisfying fictionalization of all of Marilyn Monroe's most unattractive details and of the most unpleasant rumors. It's simply a disappointment. We do not recommend this movie at all. 